Lovely, wholesome Factorio. That's the best way to describe this one. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Learning Factory, a game that I really don't know how to describe other than the fact that it really looks to be a top-down Factorio-like game, but with uh, uh, somebody and a cat de designing stuff, uh, a guy who's a scientist and his cat kind of uh, trying to do some... I Honestly, I don't know. Let's just get into the game and see what it's like. Thanks again for all the support. Welcome to all the new subscribers. You guys are amazing. So thanks again for all the support being the best community on YouTube as we rock it towards 1 million subscribers. 60% of the people who uh, watch the channel don't necessarily subscribe. So make sure you do so we can hit that million early and we can do some big old giveaways on the Discord and such for all your support. Let's start ourselves a new campaign and it looks like there'll be an early, uh, a rather a free play mode coming uh, in early access uh, a little later in a, in a future update. Right, so here's the scientist working with his cat. What do you want, kitty? If only I knew myself. So the cat's dissatisfied or something like that? So the guy ends up uh, working with his cat, designing a cat sensor or something to determine that the cat is <laughs> hungry, I guess, for some sort of kibble or food or something, meow mix. Um, he writes to catxiv.com, or at least that's what he's designing. And he ships it off to what I'm assuming is uh, some sort of a patent office or something that designs it for him. And then uh, now we have ourselves a pyramid. And uh, I guess he's getting ready to go somewhere. He's got the electric toothbrush and the book ready to go. That is awesome. That plane looks amazing, dude. Those look like rocket ships. Very nice. And now we're at a uh, factory of some sort. All right. These piles of mangled garbage is all that remains of the KOTOVOD learning factory. It was constructed back in the Union era for stunning cats, but now it's desolated. The only thing that seems to be kind of working is a store. You must stop <laughs> You must stop reading this note now and get to uh, explore it. Uh, comrade Engineer, don't just stand there and use WSD to move around the mouse wheel to scroll. All right, there you go. All right, so there's some sort of a store. It kind of looks like um, maybe uh, the game uh, Don't Starve Together or Just Don't Starve. So I guess we'll follow it. But as we can see here, we have ourselves power lines, a main, uh, like HQ, otherwise known as the store, and some sort of a generator of some sort. I, I don't know. And a bunch of mangled uh, conveyor belts all around, so that's kind of cool. Mm. Is that a cotton field? Yeah, okay. So we'll need to gather materials. We'll see how this goes. But let's start in uh, place here. Uh, to start sales, place a yarn ball into the empty slot in the fixed price. Stores display. Find some yarn balls on the map. All right, there's one. Uh, now find some metal. Okay, oh, there goes the cats. Uh, I have no idea what's happening. But I guess it'll make sense the more we play it. I like the music, though. Okay. Uh, so craft a transporter in the backpack with E or I. And build it. You can press R to rotate buildings. Well, there's a conveyor belt up here, so let's use that. Looks like cotton packs fell off the uh, conveyor. So let's try to make one of those. And uh, I crafted that. Now it's at the bottom. Okay, let's craft another one. Maybe that'll help them get across. So apparently cotton balls or yarn balls and uh, metal scrap are what's used to build those. Looks like there's also random pieces all over the map. Uh, follow the optic cable and dig up the sphinx. Okay. I sphinx, that's a good idea. So let's give that a shot here. Except let's connect this transporter for whatever reason. It looks like there's... Oh! A broken cotton collector. Yarn ball maker and then that goes to the store. I don't know. I think we're shipping in cats to shop at the store, and then that's telling you what they want in order to, like, sell things to their owners? Maybe? I don't know. All right, let's go to the Sphinx. Wow. That is a big O Sphinx. All right, now we got more of the story. There's the Sphinx. Oh, it looks like cats in are inside doing research. Oh, boy. We got the memes. At last, you has arrived... We can finally do it. Do what now? This place has been created to solve the mysteries of cats. Now we only need millions of datas and complicated machinery to work. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Research the cotton collector in the monument to earn money from the uh, sales in the fixed price store. Oh, we have debris here. Can I get that? Oh, nice. Uh, research cotton collector. Okay. Uh, there it is. Let's research. Uh, what does it require? Oh, it just takes time. Okay, object information collects cotton from cotton trees and compresses it into cotton packs. Right, so we should be able to re uh, repair that one that we saw over on the left side. In the meantime, let's grab some more scrap. 
You never know what'll be needed, I guess. Uh, craft a cotton collector and build it near the cotton tree. Okay. That requires uh, wood and also more metal. Where am I going to find wood? Uh, oh, tree? Oh, right click. Okay. So we need what? Seven and three? I wonder if to. Oh, iron vein. Ooh. That should provide all the metal we need. Okay, so that requires uh, seven wood. So we got six, we just need a little bit more. There's a tree. Okay, that should be everything we need. There it is, cotton collector under construction now. Let's grab some more cotton balls. I could probably salvage all this stuff, but let's just leave it for now because we might need to build something down there. Okay, so I guess what we can do is reclaim this too. Oh, we get a little bit of material from that as well. Okay. Uh, did we construct it? Oh, yeah. It's done. There it is. Ah, there we go. Okay, so the orange area is probably where it gathers from, and the blue is where it outputs. Uh, cat requests and stock of goods. In time, you'll notice different types of cats coming into your stores. They request different types and amounts of goods. It is your duty to fulfill their desires, comrade engineer. Keep track of... Your stock at all times and prepare to, or prepare to face the consequences. Wow, these cats are serious. Oh, dude. All right, this is really cool how these things are animated. That's really nice. So you can actually see cotton being collected from each individual plant. Then you can kind of see it putting it together into packs, shipping it onto the conveyor belt, and then literally yarn being made. Now, that's actually kind of cool. I like the fact that we can see what's going on. Okay, so it looks like cats are uh, being... F their needs are being fulfilled by the... Uh, yarn balls being delivered. Okay. I mean, all right. <laughs> all right. Research the yarn ball maker and the monument. All right. Let's go back to the monument. Yarn ball maker. Uh, where's that? There. Uh, makes yarn balls from compressed cotton. Crafting cost is four and three. Four metal. Rather, four wood, three metal. Okay. A uh, new type of cat is spotted visiting the factory. Research is complete now. Can I get any more, um... Any more wood anywhere? Oh, metal source. Okay, let's see if we can actually build another one of those. There it is. Yarn ball maker. So I think we're going to have to split the conveyor belts into multiple sections here so we can make them faster. So let's make a couple of, uh... Make a couple of conveyors. Let's see if there's a splitter or something. Uh, build a yarn ball maker. Let's build that next to here. I'm assuming the blue is the input. Output, I mean. Congratulations, engineer. You've con uh, finished the introductory course. Uh, you're also qualified to participate in our elite engineer program. Simply share a 10-minute or longer recording of your gameplay to immortalize your name in the cat's credits. You get a special promo cat. For real? Uh, would you like to know more? Click the button below. Is that for real? Oh, yeah. It actually opened up a new window. Uh, no, thank you. I'd like to keep playing. What do I have to do next? Um, oh, we have ten happy cats satisfied. Okay, we need to have a splitter here. It actually opened up a, another window where I could, like, I guess apply my gameplay footage? I, I don't know. Um, alright, let's go this way. I need more thingies here. Do we have anything else? Okay, we have the store. Make a bunch more of these, please. I think conveyors will probably be pretty useful, so let's grab more of those. And yeah, the arrows show which direction they can go. Oh, we can only split it one way. Okay. Hmm, so we can't build connectors. Oh, I'll have to do that this way. Oh, wait, they w they can connect this way. Wait, oh, there we go. But is there a way I can make like a T intersection here? No, it doesn't look like that. They can connect, but they can't separate. Let's go back to the uh, monument and gather more stuff while we're here. There's an iron vein. We might actually be able to make a mine. All right, let's jump back over this way. Okay, what, what else do we need to do next? There's a wiki that shows us a few of the items available. This game is early access. Oh, we, can, we don't have to go over there. We can just click here. That's helpful. Okay, uh, what's the next thing? Is there a split? There it is, splitter. That's definitely what I want. Perfect. Ex excellent, excellent. Okay. So it looks like cats are coming into the store and this automated robot is basically uh, giving them what they want. 
Oh, okay. Each different type of cat might have a different need. So this is like a queue outside the store, and we need to deliver the goods direct. Hot off the presses, if you will. A research is complete for a splitter. That requires three metal. So we should be able to make one of those. Uh, there it goes. Okay, let's build one of those. Uh, so one goes in and then can split two ways. Okay, let's try to redo this. So it should be like this. Ah, oh, okay, so it makes two pathways. Ah, there we go. Okay, that should work. Haha, <laughs> nice. Okay, so we've got two... That's, okay, so it's like a, it's more, not really like a splitter, but more like a shifter. Like one goes this way and then one moves over one down. Okay, what can we research next? Let's do a tunnel manipulator. Wow, this is actually a big serious thing. Super, what? Superior catafficial intelligence. Oh my god, okay. Uh, let's see what else is out there. Uh, rope maker, claw, sharpener maker, drill... Lumber mill, cat store upgrades. Um, the drill will probably provide us with more metal. Same with the lumber mill providing us with wood. Let's do that. Extracts metal ore from iron veins. Okay, now we're getting into factory level stuff here. Wow, we can still use more splitters, I suppose. Or the uh, cotton balls, that's for sure. We need more of that. Uh, yeah, we need way more splitters. This could be more efficient. Um, how do I get exactly more materials, though? So to build another... Um, Cotton, no, uh, yarn ball maker, we need metal and wood. More metal, more, we need more. Dude, this is really cool, actually. I mean, despite this kind of being a little awkward in terms of being like, what, cats, C comrade, what What are you talking about? This is actually quite neat. Ballsy, man. That's what Valheim is, right? It takes stuff that uh, we're familiar with and did it a little differently, and that uh, turned out to be a big win. This could be the best game ever created, who knows? Probably, probably not, but uh, I will say it's quite interesting. Oh, and we got fruit from that, too. That is, I like fruit. That's interesting. Oh, and we can make our uh, lumber mill there. Okay, we have uh, six splitters. That's great. Uh, I need to make some more uh, yarn ball makers now. So let's make, like, a couple of those. I think they're fabricating now. We also have coin. How do, how do I get money? I noticed we had some before. So what are these cats exactly wanting? Cotton packs? Really? They're just buying raw cotton? Um, cat, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Hmm. All right, what would be a better way to do this? So it looks like we can create way more cotton than the uh, yarn ball makers can make. It almost seems like a four to one, where it's uh, four yarn ball makers to one cotton collector. So what would be a better way to do this? Um... This is splitting for two, so I could have another one split for... Okay, let's redo this. Let me uh, back up and, and get a little bit, little, little peace of mind here. What if we start... Can we start with one splitter? Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so we have an initial splitter, and then we can split again. Okay, let's try some conveyors. Alright, I'm going to try something a little... Wait, which way is it going? Alright, so that'll be one going to that uh, machine. Then I need one going to... Jeez, I don't... Okay. I think when it looks like it's facing down, that's going that way. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> it's gonna take some trial and error for me to figure out exactly which way to go. Okay, it looks like we make a... Okay, this one can't have a curve, though. Essentially, what I'm trying to do is build more... Uh, oh, yeah, let's do it this way. Yeah, I want the output to be up here. Let's do it in reverse. That'll be easier for Tiny Brain. Okay. Oh, okay, you just got to build over it again. All right. Input, input, input. And then... Uh, I think what we need to do is have yet another splitter. Oh, okay, you just click over the same one again. What is this? Fur tree? What fur? Oh, I'm gonna run out of conveyors. Oh, 
Oh, we can craft maximum, but I don't want that. Control. Left mouse button, right mouse button. Okay, got it. Okay, let's build up here. So I want this one to go at the bottom. Yes, beautiful. Oh, this actually uh, doesn't give me any room to do what I wanted. Hmm, well, we could create that tunnel. Let's try uh, to do another transporter here. I wonder if we can do this in reverse. Bomb, bomb. Okay, so let's try to do this this way. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if I do another splitter, I don't have enough room to do what I thought I could do. The tunnel won't allow me to go underneath and come back, I don't think, anyway. Could research it, though. Let's give it a try and see how the tunnel works. I'm curious to see. And do we have the research metal for that? Yep, we do. Okay. Curious to know if the tunnel actually will allow me to do that. So let's build it this way. We'll function with just two for now. Could do three, actually. Okay, let's get this one to go that way. And we'll have the last one connect here in a second. As soon as the research is done. No data, sell some items and stores to connect to a lab. Oh, so sales equals research. Okay. And it looks like uh, they have two out of 25. Well, here you go. Here's a few more to, to sell. So we can find yarn balls on the map in order to sell those. Like they showed us at the very beginning. The map seems rather large, too. So we can have some spaghetti going. Again, remember, this is only the first mission, so I don't think they've given us most of what's here. It looks like harvesting some of this stuff destroys it permanently, but there is another lumber mill in the north, so we're going to have to research that, too. I wonder if I can queue research. Looks like we're almost done with that one. There's the drill for the iron ore. That's good, but I think what we really need is lumber. Research complete, though. Let's see how this works. So we need to build a tunnel now. So I'm going to try to build two of those. We'll see how it works. Um, I need to get it to curve around. And I'll need some more conveyors, which we have plenty. Um, I'm going to have to experiment with this to see exactly how it functions. It doesn't look like it's connected, so I might have to do it the other way. Then does it ship it out here? Hmm. I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how that works. Well, we got 100 satisfied customers, though. I wanted to see if I could keep this compact to try to do the tunnel. Oh, I should do some more research, too. Uh, let's try it. What's the manipulator? Wraps items from transporters and buildings and gently moves them around. Oh, it's a, a claw. Such as gentle can move cats. They totally don't mind. Oh, so we actually could, uh, instead of using that, we could try this. Wow, even with these three, look at how little little yarn we're making. Jeez, that's got to be maybe a six to one. It's crazy. Well, at least we have all sorts of different things here. Well, let's try the manipulator and see how that works. That might work fine. Boy, it's really easy to misclick. Okay, research complete. Let's give that a try. Manipulator. Where is that? 
Yarn ball maker, transporter tunnel. There it is. Manipulator times two metal. Gonna have to go pick some of that up. Okay, let's try two of those. And let's see what happens, right? Okay. So how does this work? So it picks up thing here and then moves thing there. Okay, let's try it here. Ah, so it does carry it across. Interesting. So we could take stuff from here. Oh yeah, because they're they're using so little, uh, they're using so little cotton that we could actually use it this way. Beautiful. Okay. Well, this changes the whole design then. So it's basically like a splitter, like from Dyson Sphere program, where we could instruct it to take things this way. And I think this needs to go the other way though. I think I did. I should have did it this way. There we go. There we go. Yes. Oh, that beats the tunnel. Okay. That's good. So that's a little more um, along the lines of the splitter, but a little different too. Okay. Well, that'll work. All right, so now we can put a lot of stuff, and we can put... Um, what I could do instead is we could have a main line here, and then maybe have the manipulator feed the line, or, or feed each individual machine. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay, let's let's see how many uh, cotton balls or uh, yarn balls are coming in. Six out of... Okay. So they want cotton packs, too, and wood and metal. So the cats want cotton ball... or yarn balls, cotton, metal, and wood. Okay. So we need to also import some raw resources here too. Okay, let's try that. Let's try to just do straight up cotton and let's see if we can use our manipulator. And we'll take from the bottom line. And that's the bottom line. Let's take from there. Put them onto a conveyor. Ooh. Okay, so now this thing isn't making enough cotton. Now we can make more. Excellent. Always more, chat. We always need more. Always more. So we can build a lumber mill here. Another cotton mill here. Another lumber mill there. And then iron ore uh, veins here, which can just be directly delivered. Because I don't think we need... Was it any sort of type of metal? Just regular just regular metal. Okay. All right, we can satisfy all the needs. That's cool. Okay, let's do another cotton collector. I think these might overlap. But we'll make it pretty close. There we go. Now all we gotta do is just have this delivered to the line. There we go. Ah, uh, we need more conveyors, though. More! We need more! So I guess at this point it'd be good for us to all... Uh, is there a storage we could research? Is there a storage item? Cat store, drill, claw sharpener, box maker. Oh yeah, that's for the cats for sure. Manipulate different types. Okay, we have a storage here, but we gotta first research the long manipulator. Okay, that's my favorite so far. That seems to be an easy way to get across those... Um, Seems to be an easy way to get across the conveyors. Okay, let's build ourselves another... Um, let's see, a bunch of conveyors. Uh, there we go. So we'll gather this. Good, good, very good. And we'll see if this is enough. We can connect to it that way. Perfect. All right, so the cat should be able to... Yep, so we're maxed out on cotton packs. Yarn balls, we could definitely produce some more, so we can work on that. Uh, let's optimize after we do a little bit more here. Oh, I forgot that this uh, thing is... I don't think we need a splitter here, do we? 
So we'll just go ahead and take this and do it this way. Uh, except I don't want you to do that. There we go. All right, so all four machines should be connected. We need to produce more cotton, too. Some of these machines are a little neglected, but I think we can feed in from the top, too, since they require a little bit more resources. But it's all right. It's all good. It's just cats. More iron veins. Okay, we should build that br uh, drill here. So we'll have to research that. What we did. R lumber mill, then, is the next deal. Let's build ourselves a drill. There we go. More conveyors. This one should be pretty easy. I'm just going to click forever. There we go. Okay, good. Drill. Uh, can the drill be put? There it is. Right on top. Okay. Into the top of the store. Oh, this could produce producing very slowly. Oh yeah, crafting right now. Okay, that's gonna be very slow. Alright, let's do the same with the lumber mill. And that's right there. So 20 metal to make one of those. Good. Alright, let's try that out. I guess we're not really going for optimization right now. We're really just learning how everything works to see exactly how quickly it produces and to kind of get a feel for it. Plus, this is kind of a first look, so efficiency really doesn't matter when we're just kind of learning and having fun. Oh, it produces several metal at a time. So it takes a while to produce, but when it does, it's multiple ones at a time. It's not a constant production. Oh, wow, look at that. There goes the logs. Weird. Uh, it looks like it's cutting them off and like it could drop them on the conveyor belt, but that doesn't seem to be working that way. Oh, this works exactly like how the uh, metalsmith works. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Cool. Um, what should we do next? Oh, uh, storage. So I want the uh, long manipulator. So let's do that next. All right, here comes the logs. And as for cotton, we've certainly got a, a ways to go in optimizing that, but um, I kind of built a little close. But then again, that's how it all was set up. Okay, well, let's go reclaim this stuff, because we realize that we can just use that here. Ooh, they gave us a free lumber mill. Oh, these trees are all dead. Oh, so we have a free lumber mill there. So if we look around, we actually find more free stuff, too. That's cool. A broken rover. Well, wow, that'd be a great thing to actually uh, bring cotton out of again. This would probably be a better area to get cotton from because it's way over here. And that would give us plenty of space to split up our conveyor belts and do all the production. Cat store debris. Oh, a couple of failed stores. Let's get all that stuff loaded up. There we go. All right. Well, that's cool. Now we got a bunch of free stuff that we can work with. Now that we understand a little bit more about it. That's good. It's a good feeling. Let's go ahead and add some more... Uh, oh, this is an advanced splitter. A triple splitter. Very nice. Hmm. I think we could bring in some more um, yarn from the south. But what exactly do we need to do next? Are we supplying everything that cats need? I, f I feel like metal and all the other stuff is a little lacking. No. Oh, it's actually almost full, except for the ball, uh, balls of yarn. Let's max that out, though. Okay. Well, let's max out, max out all the products for now. There we go. Okay, so everything's maxed out on the fixed price store. Research and build the cat store to unlock price settings. Okay. So everything right now is set, sold at a set price. So now we can unlock the better store and now start charging more. Which, I don't know if we can get money-wise for it. I guess we're about to lose the... Uh, comrade part, I suppose. So we have an iron vein here. We can start producing more metal. 
So we can definitely start doing uh, heavy mining in the south. We can do uh, some very cool cotton production in the southwest. There's a little bit more here too. But it seems like the further we get away from the factory the, or the, um, the store, the better. Maybe we can do some down here. Might interrupt that stuff, but let's see. Here comes all the cats and all their different needs. Interesting. So just consider the cats to just be like um, certain markets that have different uh, requirements and different needs. They're not really buying a lot of that uh, stuff, are they? Okay, we're out of money. Looks like they're buying the balls of yarn like crazy. That's, of course, the number one thing they would want. It makes sense. Okay, so we need to increase that production then, but we're about to change the store, so before we go through the effort of doing all that, let's just wait and see what happens. Jeez, I feel like we should bring some of the cotton the other way now. Yeah, don't don't cut any of those off anymore. Hmm. Well, it looks like... Are, are the balls of yarn always being made? Oh yeah, 1 out of 20, so by the time this is almost done, boom, 2. Okay, so there's not... It doesn't look like they're ever out of any. Oh, except for this one. Oh, because there's not enough being shipped over here from the splitters. So this one will never be supplied. Because we need to make more. We need more. Hmm. Alright, let's make another uh, cotton machine. Wait, that's under this menu. Cotton... Uh, what does it look like? Cotton collector. We're making one of those now. Okay, there it goes. So, cotton collector. There we go. And then that should start pumping out the cotton. Oh, it's like a giant vacuum. That's cool. I hadn't noticed that until now. Hmm. I want to see how those tunnels work. I want to, I want to be able to put it on this line down here. Can I put... Can I use one of the tunnels to get it down here? Well, I'm not, I'm just not sure how it works. I think it drops it out this way? So, is it like this? Or is it connect to the back side and go down to the blue? Oh, it does. Can I connect these two this way? Oh, no. Whew, I don't know how to connect those tunnels. Hybrid mode? Oh, switch layer, that's why. Okay. Ah, I see. Should work. But I think I have to rotate this the other way. Or not. I want it to go up, right? Wow, oh, it's putting it this way, though. Um. Well, we could use a long manipulator here. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh boy. Um. Okay, well, it's bringing it from the other side. We're at least getting the materials here now. And then we can do a long mani uh, manipulator this way. To also feed in from here. If this will allow me to do a connection this way. I want to be able to connect that way. Darn, it's too close. I'm trying to connect it uh, like a junction like this. But it doesn't look like it'll do that. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there we go. There, it worked. Okay. Well, we've increased our uh, yarn supply. At least that kind of is a workaround based on the new stuff that we learned. 
but we got a lot more ways to go to be efficient. Obviously, obviously. You're never, are you ever done building a factory? Is it ever perfect? Are you ever completely done with learning new unlocks and stuff? Is the factory really truly complete? No, of course not. The factory must grow. The city must survive. Wow. Oh, uh, we've unlocked the advanced cat store. Let's take a quick look at that. What a weird game, but I like this. We've barely even scratched the surface, but... Um, okay, so now we have fixed price stores. Oh, we just need to build a whole new store. So now we can just do the cat store. Oh, so everything's being sold for like a dollar now. It's like the dollar store. That's what that was all about. What? So we'll just basically delete this store and put down the new new cat store. There it is. Get out of here, fixed price store. And now time for the cat store, which, oh boy, it's being blocked by all sorts of stuff. Is there a way I can pause, please? Oh no, now I gotta back all the conveyor belts up. Uh, uh. Back it up. Okay, there we go. And I gotta get out of the way too. Okay, cool. Alright, so now we can charge a higher price and actually start doing more uh, research. We'll make more money from that, so everything now is just a natural increased price. And there we go, now we can set the prices. Ooh, ah, now they want more advanced stuff too. Claw sharpener, and then uh, we can probably set some more things here. So set your price, let's do, um, oh, I see. Yeah, let's set prices to two now, and three, good, good. So now we can make a little bit more cash. Oh, there we go. We're starting to make some money. Very nice. All right, guys. That's going to be our first look at the uh, learning factory. Really weird idea to do with cats, but I totally understand it and dig it. Um, think of this as just if, if like we had an actual cat toy company within a factory rather than just being like a weird don't starve together whatnot. I like this. This is great. I've got definitely got room for improvement, and I'd love to see what you guys could do, too. If you get access to this one, so make sure you follow me on Twitter and show me all the improvements that you made to the factories and whatnot if you gave it a try. And I'd love to see. You guys have yourselves a fantastic afternoon, good evening, and good night. And I'll see you soon. Thanks again for all the support. Take care. And thanks for being the number one audience on YouTube. Members, let's see those golden ones down below if you made it this far. And thanks again for watching.